The Ahom religion is the ethnic religion of the Ahom people in Assam, India. The Ahom people came into Assam in 1228, led by a Thai prince Sukhafar, and admixed with the local people. The people who came into Assam included two clans of priests, joined later by a third, who brought with them their own religion, rituals, practices and scriptures. The religion is based on ritual-oriented ancestor worship that required animal sacrifice ban fi, though there was at least one Buddhism-influenced ritual in which sacrifice was forbidden feralung. Ancestor worship and the animistic concept of Kwan are two elements it shares with other Thai folk religions. There is no idolatry except for the titular god of the Ahom king and though there is a concept of heaven or a heavenly kingdom Mong Phi, sometimes identified with a part of Yunnan, there is no concept of hell. It was the state religion of the Ahom kingdom in the initial period. The Ahom kingdom expanded suddenly in the 16th century and the Arams became a small minority in their own kingdom. Though they continued to wield control. Subsequently, they slowly converted and by the early 19th century, Ahom religion declined to be replaced by Hinduism. In the 1931 survey, all Arams returned Hinduism as their religion. Nevertheless, since the 1960s and 1970s due to an Ahom revivalism movement, as well as efforts from scholars, many of the older practices of the Ahom religion are being resurrected. The three priestly clans Mosem, Mohung, Moplong of the Ahom people are the current custodians of the Ahom religion. Topic: <laughs> Dam Phi ancestor worship. Dam Phi, Dam, dead, Phi, god is the worship of ancestors as gods and it is performed either in individual households Dam Phi or publicly Mi Dam Mi Phi. The dead in Ahom society becomes a dam, literally, spirit of the dead. They are held in awe, fear, wonder, and reverence, worshipped and propitiated for protection. After the fourteenth generation a dam becomes a god and is worshipped by the whole community. There are three grades of dams graded according to the generation with the highest living generation numbered one and the circumstances of death, and they progress from one grade to the next. Dam. <laughs> The head of the household and his wife or the parents are called the Na Dam, New Dam, second generation, the next higher generation the Gari Dam, Main Dam, third generation, and the next higher generation the Chiawan Dam, fourth generation. Each dam is complete only when both the husband and wife are dead. These three dams constitute the Griya Dam. Those who die unnaturally, without children or unmarried, are called Jokorua Dam and are not included in the Griya Dam and treated and worshipped differently. The household dams reside in the northeast pillar of the kitchen, Fokam, Assamese, Dam Kuta, which is usually raised first during the construction of the house and is considered most sacred place in the entire house. The Dam Phi rituals are directed at the Fokam. The household deity, Sheng Ka Pha, is also worshipped at the Fokam. Topic. Chang Dam The next nine generations of dams fifth to thirteenth constitute Chang Dam, the dams who have been led out of the house into the threshold, and are worshipped according to special rites, called Na Puruksa Sol Kua feast for nine generations. Topic. Chow Phi Dam This is the final stage for dams and in this stage, the dams 14th and above are considered to have become gods phi and merged with original forefathers of the entire community collectively called Chow Phi Dam. In this class of dams the two evil deities, Ra Kin and Ba Kin too belong, but they are worshipped with lower status and separately. The Jokorua dams in the 14th generation become kin and join these two deities. Gods and cosmogony. Topic. Creation of heaven At first, there was nothing besides the water of the ocean. Pha Tu Ching opened his eyes to the void, and thus created from his breast the first deity Kun Thu Kam. Freshly created, and finding nothing to lean on, Kun Thu Kam dove into the water and then laid on his back, and a lotus plant issued from his navel. This was followed by the creation of a crab, a tortoise, and an eight hooded snake that encircled the tortoise. The eight hoods spread in eight directions. Then a white elephant with long tusks and two mountains in the north and south were created, on which pillars were placed. 
Then a pair of gold tinted spiders were created that floated in the air and dropped excrements, from which Earth came about. The spiders then placed eight pillars in the eight corners of the wall and spun their web to create heaven. Heaven in Thai Ahom religion denotes Tian apart Yunnan in southwest China, known as Mong Phi. Creation of gods Pha Tu Ching also created a consort for Kun Thu Kam, and Lon Kam four golden eggs were born to them. Fa Tu Chin then created a Thao Lung to warm the eggs but the eggs would not hatch for many years. So he sprinkled ambrosia Nya Pulok on them and four gods emerged, 1 Pha Shang Din Kam Neu, 2 Sheng Cha Pha Kam, 3 Sheng Kam Pha, and 4 Ngi Ngao Kam also called Fu Ra. The fourth son, Ngi Ngao Kam stayed back to help create the world. The third son revolted and turned into an evil spirit, though his son Sheng Ka Pha became a household deity. Worshipful gods According to Ahom beliefs, the supreme, formless, omnipotent being is Pha Tu Ching, who is the creator, sustainer and destroyer of everything. The other gods and the universe are his creation. The Ahom pantheon of gods that generally receive oblations are Lengden, Kao Kam, Ai Leng Din, Jan Chai Hung, Jashing Pha, Chit Lam Cham, Mut Kum Tai Kum, Ra Kin, Ba Kin and Chao Phi Dam. Chumfa, the Chumfa, Chumfa Rung Seng Mong, Assamese, Chum Dio, was the titular deity of the Ahom dynasty, represented by a relic and which symbolized the Ahom king's sovereignty. It accompanied Sukafar across the Pat Kai on his journey into Assam. It used to be housed in the royal seat, till Suklan Mung moved it away and it played a prominent role during Singarirutha ceremony. The relic is said to have been brought down from heaven by Kun Lung and Kun Lai the mythical ancestor of Sukhafar and could be worshipped and handled only by the king. Other honorable gods There are many other gods including major Ahom gods, the Thai Ahom people and generally had numbers of gods and spirits. They believe that in this world of phenomena visible objects have invisible spirits. Here are some of them. Lankuri Chao Ban, God of the Sun, Chao Den, God of the Moon, Chao Phi, God of the Fire, Chao Pha Kun, God of the Rain, Tai Lang, God of the Death, Ari Yang Nao, Kam Seng or Ari A Nang, Goddess of Wealth, Lao Khri, full name, Mo Seng Pha Lao Khri, Pu Phi Su, the God of the Forest who live in the Tun Rung Rai, Ficus Tree. Kun Thu Kam Cry Pha Rung Kam Pha But Rum Shang Dam Pha Ship Ip Shang Den Scriptures The religious aspects are inscribed in scriptures written in Ahom language. The three priestly clans Mozum, Mohung, Moplong, widely use these scripts. Some prayer scripts are known as Ban Seng were found from Habung. Some of them were brought from Yunnan, China. Topic: <inaudible> Rituals. <inaudible> the Ahom religion is based on rituals, and there are two types of rituals: Ban Phi that involve animal sacrifice and Fur Alung that forbids animal sacrifice. Rituals could also be performed at the household level or at the communal level. Topic. Communal ceremonies Topic. Mi Dam Mi Phi Mi Dam Mi Phi Ahom language, Mi Worship, Dam Spirit of the Dead, Phi God is one of the major ceremonies among the Ahom religious rituals that is performed publicly, propitiating the spirits of the dead. In the modern times, this is held annually on 31 January. The rituals begin with the creation of a temporary structure with bamboo and thatch octagonal in shape, called Ho Phi. In its six raised platters on the main platform are placed for the following divinities, Jashing Pha, Jan Chai Hung, Lengden, Chit Lam Cham, Mut Kum Tai Kum, Chao Phi Dam. To the left of the main platform the raised platforms for Kao Kam and Ai Lengden are placed, and to the right the raised platters of Ra Kin and Ba Kin. Rik Kwan Mong Kwan 
The Rik Kwan Mong Kwan AHOM language, Rik to call, Kwan life, longevity, soul, Mong nation, is a ritual to worship Kwan, to enhance or to call back the prosperity of the state or a person. The Rik Kwan is an important part of the Thai AHOM marriage system described in the old Thai script Lai Lit Nang Hoon Pha. In early days Rik Kwan Mung Kwan was performed by the Thai AHOM kings on the victory of a war or the installation of the new kings. In the ceremony, devotee propitiates the god Kao Kam the god of water and invoked to restore the soul in the original normal place and to grant a long life. Non-communal rituals Dam Phi the Dam Phi rituals are specific to propitiating the Na Dam, Gari Dam, Chi Rwan Dam and the Jokorua Dam at the Fokam pillar inside the house. These rituals are offered on all auspicious occasion in the household. The Three Bihas, the Na Kua ceremony feast following new harvest, new birth in the household, Nuri Tuloni Bia female puberty ceremony, Chak Lang marriage, and annual death ceremonies. <laughs> Notes